Today we're going to do some muskrat trapping. I haven't done it in a long time, so I built a couple of floats. I'm going to show you what it looks like. <clears throat> Look at that. Beautiful. So, custom float built by with 2x6, two 2x4 six, two on top. I have a screw underneath that the apple hooks on. I chopped it up a little bit to get some of that apple juice on the wood. Got my long spring here, Duke. I got a screw underneath here to create stability. I put the chain on this screw, which is has tie wire wrapped around it, which is connected to this. So when they hit the pan, they th jump off, then they drown. This is a double setup. I'm gonna tie some rope around it, right, right in here. All right, guys. So we got quite a bit of snow, and I haven't been able to check for a couple of days. I'm on my final day of where I have to check. So I made it back in here, and we're gonna check this muskrat float. And from the road, it looks like we might have a catch. Well, probably gonna fall on the drink. And both traps are gone. I wonder if we got a double here. Um, where's that other trap? I see a muskrat right there. Let's pull this float up. Oh, here I go. Oh, it's such a heavy float. Hold on. Okay, it wasn't a double and I almost fell in, but I did get a rat. Got a hind foot and a front foot. Not a very big rat, but that's another rat down on this custom float I built. And I just saw, you know, the other day a couple rats swimming in here, so I was like, heck, I'll anchor off of this stump and throw a float in because I really couldn't find any runs and I didn't feel like getting my waders out, but there we go, rat down. All right, guys, this is the float we caught the rat on. So I set my traps up. And uh, you can kind of see here, I don't know, maybe. But I have a screw right here that goes under the long spring so the trap doesn't go back forward and forward and fall off the float when they climb up, you know, in case they hit the jaw. So we want them to hit the pan, and they're going to hit the pan. They're going to jump off and drown. So bait goes on just like that and I don't have a ton of blocking on this float like I should I mean rats kind of turn these things into a beach party anyways and they climb all over them and it really doesn't matter because if there's rats in here which there are we're gonna catch them and I'll show you how this looks so Got my set tied off to this old telephone pole or power line pole, my rope, and we'll have a rat come in and swim in this little pool. And they typically come in on the lower side that's sunk down a little bit. And the idea is just to hit that pan right there, just like last time, and jump off. And hopefully, we get some more rats. This is a pretty deep pool. Um, my hip waders are almost aren't enough, so. That's why I decided to put a float in here. We'll see what happens. All right, so it wasn't a spectacular day, but we did catch some animals and I am thankful. We had three sets out, caught two animals, caught a raccoon and a rat, and I just sprayed them off and I'm gonna get skin in them and take. I set a bunch of sets today. I put out a lot of 110s and different runs and a couple more footholds, so um, I have about 20 sets out now, so next trap check should be good. Stay tuned. 